In a school with 600 students, the average age of the boys is 12 years and that of the girls is 11 years. If the average age of the school is 11 years and 9 months, then the number of girls in the school is dash. Now, a simple question there. Let us assume the number of boys is B and the number of girls is G. Right? The question says there is a school with 600 students, which means the total of boys and girls is 600. So, number of boys plus number of girls is equal to 600. The average age of the boys is 12 years. Average age of boys is 12 years. And the average age of girls and that of girls is 11 years. And the average of the entire school, average age of the entire school is how much? 11 years and 9 months. Now understand, you have to first convert this 11 years and 9 months to years. Right? 11 years and 9 months is equal to how many years? Don't say 11.9 years. Right? That's nonsense. 11.9 years is not 11 years and 9 months. 11 years and 9 months is 11.75 years. See, total... I mean, I'm sure you know about this, right? How do you convert months to years? Divide by 12. 9 months by 12. Because one year has got 12 months. So, divide by 12. So, 9 by 12 is 3 by 4, which is like 0.75. So, we can say 11 years and 9 months is equal to 11.75 years. 11.75 years. 0 0.75 here. So, 11 full years plus 9 months is equal to 0 0.75 years. 11.75 years. Find out the number of girls in the school is the question. Now, how do you do this? See, the average age of the boys is 12 years. So, what will be the sum of the ages of the boys? 12 into B. See, sum of the values is equal to the average into the number of values. Average is 12 into number of boys is B. So, 12B. Similarly, average age of the girls is 11 years. So, what will be the sum of the ages of the girls? 11 multiplied by G, number of girls. Average is 11 multiplied by the number of girls, G. The sum of the ages of boys plus sum of the ages of girls divided by total number of boys plus girls. B plus G. But we know that B plus G is 600. So, directly substitute 600. Is equal to the average age of the entire class, which is 11.75. That's it. Two equations, two unknowns. You can solve and get the required answer. You're able to follow. What have we done in the second step here? We have been given the average age of the entire class. What is the average age of the entire class? 11.75. How do we calculate the average age of the entire class? Sum of the ages of boys plus sum of the ages of girls divided by number of boys and girls. So, number of boys and girls together is 600. Sum of the ages of the boys is 12B. Sum of the ages of the girls is 11G. And simplify now. So, two equations solve. What do we get? First of all, let us multiply 11.75 with 600. So, what do we get? 12B plus 11G is equal to 11.75 into 600. So, zeros will eliminate the decimal here. 1175 into 6. So, 6600 plus 450, 6600 plus 450 is 7000, 7050, right? 6600 plus 450, 7050. Look at the next uh, equation here, uh, B plus G equals to 600. See, what do we want? We have to find out the number of girls. If you want to find out the number of girls, you have to eliminate the number of boys, right? Here, the coefficient of B, coefficient of boys is 12. So, try to make the coefficient 12 in the second equation as well. So, that we can eliminate by subtracting the two equations. So, multiply the whole equation by 12. What do we get? Multiply the whole thing by 12. What do we get? B into 12. 12B plus B into uh, G into 12. 12G equals to 600 into 12. 7200. Now, subtract 12B and 12B gets cancelled. 12G minus 11G is G. 7200 minus 7050 is 150. So, your answer is 150. There are 150 girls in the school okay now the same question can also be solved using allegations this is a simple method nothing complex about it only two equations and play with it but allegations can also be used how do we use allegations in this case see simple average age of boys average age of girls and average age of the mixture when you take the cross difference you should get the quantity of boys is to quantity of girls. Well, quantity is not the right term here. Number of boys and number of girls. Okay. So, take the average age of boys, average age of girls, average of the mixture and cross differences will give you the quantity of boys and girls or number of boys and girls ratio. So, substitute the values now. What do we get? Average age of boys is given as 12. Average age of girls is 11. The average age of the mixture, whatever calculation we have done here. Right. Average age of the mixture is how much? 11.75. Now, take the cross differences, what do we get? 11 difference 11.75 is 0.75. 12 difference 11.75 is 0.25. So, which is like 3 is to 1. 
3 is to 1. What is this? Boys is to girls. So we can say number of boys is to number of girls is equal to 3 is to 1. What is the total number of boys and girls? 600. So basically you have to divide 600 students in the ratio of 3 is to 1. 3 is to 1 is equal to 4 parts. So divide 600 into 4 parts. What do we get? Divide 600 into 4 parts. One, pa one part will be equal to 150. Number of girls is only one part. So 150 is the answer. What is the number of boys? Three parts. Each part is 150. So 3 into 150, 450 will be the number of boys. Alright? So you can use allegations as well, which appears to be a smarter method compared to the original one. Okay?